Hi everyone, welcome to another uh, lead coding video. So how did everyone do on the weekly contest this week? And in my opinion, I think the first two questions are pretty straightforward. But this one, the magnetic force between two balls, I got stuck on this one for a long time. But still, it's a very uh, interesting question to look at. So let's solve it together. Okay, the question statement. This question, it has a Rick and Morty story on it. But basically, the main idea is uh, given a position array, we can distribute n balls on the array. And we have to make sure that the minimum distance between any two balls is the largest. So for example, uh, we can distribute three balls onto the element one, four, seven. So the difference between them will be 3, 3, and 6. So the minimum difference is 3 in this case. And if you distribute the balls to other locations, then the minimum distance will, be, uh, will not be larger than 3. So we would return 3 for this example. And for example 2, uh, we only need to distribute two balls on the array and this is obvious that we can just put the ball on the smallest and the largest uh, element so the result in this case will be 999 million and so on and what is the best way to solve this problem and actually if you haven't seen this kind of uh, question before I think it's pretty hard to think of but uh, the best way is to use uh, binary search to solve it. And there are many uh, similar questions on the code. And one of the classic one is for one zero split array uh, largest sum. And the main reason why we can use uh, binary search to solve this question is uh, we have to find something called X, which has a clear upper bound and lower bound and it's uh, monotonically increasing or decreasing. And let me show you what I mean by that. So for example one, the array is uh, one, two, three, four, seven. And if we only need to put two balls on the array, and since the array is already sorted, so we can just put a ball on the first and last element. And in this case, the largest uh, minimum distance would be seven minus one, which is six. And on the other hand, uh, if we can put five balls on the array, then it's obvious that the largest uh, minimum distance will be one. So you can think of this like uh, the distance one is the left boundary in binary search, and distance six is the right boundary. So first we calculate the median of binary search, uh, which is three in this case, and we will create a count balls function that will input the distance and it will output how many balls we can put uh, in the array. So the question now becomes, uh, if the count balls uh, return uh, three, which is the input of the question, then what is the largest uh, minimum distance in this case? And it will be more clear to see this in the code in action. Okay, the first part uh, in the code is we have to sort the position array in order to perform a binary search. And the second part is to create the count balls functions, which will calculate how many balls can be placed such that the minimum distance between uh, two balls is uh, the input D. And the last part is to perform a binary search. And one thing to notice here is that uh, if you uh, use this template uh, of binary search uh, while left is smaller or equal to, to right, usually you will return a left at the end. But in this case, we want to find the maximum uh, valid distance. So we have to return right in this uh, in this question. And let's take a closer look of the count balls function here. 
for this array, uh, the first median will be uh, 3 and it will be used as the input, the first input to account both function, which means that the minimum distance uh, between any two elements cannot be bigger than 3. So first, uh, we will put a ball on the first element and set this element to the current pointer. And then we will go through the array. And once we found that uh, the element minus the current uh, is equal or larger than, than D, then it means that we have to put another ball here. Otherwise, if you go to the next uh, element, then its distance will be larger than D. And we will also reset the current uh, pointer to this element. So for the next uh, element, uh, 7 minus 4 is also uh, equal or larger than, than 3. So we have to put another ball here. So finally, we have to put uh, three balls in order to uh, make the minimum distance is uh, equal or smaller than three. And since uh, the number of balls is three, is uh, bigger or equal to, uh, to m, so we will set left uh, to uh, median plus one and then go to the next while loop of binary search. Finally, let's review. So this question is an uh, advanced application of binary search. The goal is to find something uh, x with a clear upper bound and lower bound, and it is monotonically increasing or decreasing. And one very classic uh, similar question is 410 split array largest sum. So make sure to check out this question. It is basically using the same technique, but writing a different uh, helper function. And for this question, uh, the binary search has to return right at the end, because we want to find the maximum valid distance. In time complexity, we have to uh, first sort the, sort the array, and also, uh, in binary search, we have to scan through the array every time, so the time complexity is log linear. And space complexity, we are not using additional uh, data structure, so it's big of one. Okay, and that's all for today. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one.